So this about doing one step at a time is what I call iterative model building. You first look at your data um, and you estimate, well, I need, say, an AR1 model. Then you specify that model. You estimate parameters in that model. You get the corresponding residuals from that model. And then you look at the correlation structure, the autocorrelation function of the those residuals. If it's not white noise, well, then you can say, what do I need to include in the model to kind of incorporate that? So if I have something, because now it's simpler, then I can make a model for the noise part here and make a new model, the phi star and the theta star. If now I can make a good model for those residuals, or good estimate of what the model should be, then I can plug that in to the original model and get the phi polynomial back on the left-hand side. And basically, I multiply the, the two different phi polynomials and two theta polynomials. And then I estimate the models in that model. Say, if this was an AR1 and this was an AR1 model, I get an AR2 model. Likewise, for moving average parts. Basically, what you have to do in practice is to say, well, if you need to add one on the AR part for the residuals here, you just in increase the AR dimension of the original model by one. So this is the same as going down through here, do the model checking, say it's not okay, but I got some information that I can use to specify a, a new model order. I can estimate those pr parameters, and then I can check the model again. And then I can repeat this as many times as I like until I'm satisfied one way or the other.